I'm in Raleigh. Also, I threw up my hair for fun and it kind of looks cute. <laughs> Let me put the lock on. Okay, a mini room tour. The bathroom. Ooh. My little office. Pull out couch. And then my cute little room. Beautiful view. Like, wouldn't this be the scene for a murder? I'm so scared of myself and also this parking lot. <laughs> okay, let's close these. What a day I have had, folks. I'm sitting in the window, but it's not really a window seat. Yeah, I started a three day today, so I did LA, what did I even do? I don't remember. I did LA, Charlotte, Charlotte, Raleigh. I have a long layover here, and then tomorrow I have two flights. I do Raleigh, Miami, and then Miami, Mexico City, and then I have another long layover, which I never get like trips that have two long layovers, so I'm super stoked. And then the last day, I just have one flight home, which is my dream come true. I haven't been to Raleigh in a long time. I am actually from North Carolina. Fun fact, if you didn't know, I was born in Greensboro and spent a lot of my childhood in uh, North Carolina. And my grandparents still live here, grandma and papa, and I haven't seen them in over a year. So I'm super excited. They're gonna come visit me at my hotel. We're probably just gonna hang out and talk. I'm sure you'll meet them. They're really funny. But uh, yeah, I'm excited. I have two long layovers and then I get to go to Mexico City, which I am so excited to go to. I've heard the food is amazing and I have a fun little day plan there. Hopefully if I get there and everything works out, but living your best flight attendant life through me. I am going to go brush my teeth and unpack and get into bed because I am quite tired, but I'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Hello, good morning. It's been an eventful morning. Uh, I woke up to love that for me. That'll be fun. I got ready really fast though because my grandparents called me and they're gonna be here early. And I was like, there's so much happening. That's my morning for you. Here's my I have no tattoos outfit. a little bit ago I realized that my floor is soaked I'll go ahead and get an engineer sent to the room for you okay thank you right, so thank much you. Bye, -bye. bye but anyways I'm gonna go to a coffee shop and wait for my grandma and papa to get here all right let's go grandma and papa here show me what you're reading uh, oh the seat for my sweet granddaughter Taylor Tippett called the everyday magic of kindness, courage, and being your true self. How is it? Where are we eating at for lunch? What you say? Where are we going? Going to Cracker Barrel. Oh, we're going, oh. Oh, let me take this. And go get some veggies. We're going to tables. the Cracker Barrel to take my granddaughter so she can get some veggies. She loves veggies. <laughs> So oh, table. Guess we better go in, huh? <laughs> Okie dokie, I am all packed up, ready to go. I had such a fun time with my grandparents. I had to program my wedding venue address into their car because they don't know how to use GPS. They're driving from North Carolina to Arkansas for our wedding in like two months. They're just, they're cute. But anyways, it was really lovely. It was really nice. And then I just came back and I laid in bed for a minute. <sighs> and now I am headed downstairs for pickup. I have two flights today. I do Raleigh, Miami, and then Miami, Mexico City. I think we leave Miami at like 10 or something. So we get in really late to Mexico City. So anyways, should be a fun day. Quick, nice. I'm gonna head downstairs. Okay, bye. It is. 2.07 in the morning. <sighs> it was an interesting day to say the least. I'm in Mexico City. I'm very, very tired, but I will see you tomorrow.
I am up a lot earlier than expected. It is 10.30 right now. I woke up about an hour ago and I got dressed. I was planning on sleeping in a lot later since I didn't go to bed till like 2.30, but that didn't happen, which that's okay. I only have one flight home tonight, so it's not like too bad. Anyways, I was looking up things to do here, mostly food. And when I was on Google Maps, just like exploring the street, I saw that they have a Van Gogh Live experience, which if you've never seen, like an experience like this advertised it's basically like a live installation of his art I was looking and I was like oh that would be really really cool but we were delayed last night we were waiting on a pilot and we got in like later than what we were supposed to so I already bought tickets ahead of time for the Van Gogh live thing and when I got in last night I was like there's no way I woke up at 9 30 so guess what we are going to the dang thing anyways yeah we're just gonna explore around I have never been to Mexico City before I've never even been to the airport, so this is my first time here. I have heard it has incredible food, so I figured we could get ready and then walk over to the Van Gogh experience and then do that and then go grab food and coffee and then just see where the day brings us. I'm gonna go get ready and then we will head out. Bit. It was really really cool. We'll see what the day brings, but it's already 12 pickups at 4 Anyways, I will see you when I get to the bookstore Okay, so I was walking to the bookstore and I found the cutest coffee shop. Please look at it. So cool. cheese pastry. It's the best. The birds chirping. It's really, really, really beautiful here. I already want to come back. Look at how crazy it is. Cool. Okay, well I made it back to my room. I am so gross and sweaty. <laughs> there was so much to do. There were so many shops I wanted to pop into. I was over near the Roma neighborhood, which I think is the more like hipster young neighborhood. Really, really cool over there. And yeah, it was a great day. Food was good. Anyways, I had such a good lay over here. This is my first time international in a real, I can't even tell you the last time I flew international. Yeah, I'm very tired, very hot and sweaty and I need to go chug some water but before I do that let me give you a quick room tour because I did it last night because it was two o'clock in the morning so I have a great view huge 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 window and then this art is actually really really cool it's a vibe I love it, it almost looks like it's like a film camera too and then I got my two beds 
One for sleeping, one for eating. <laughs> This is actually really cool. It's this huge closet that opens up and it reminds me of Life Size. I loved that movie. Anybody else? Right? Cute. And then we have the little kitchenette area. Hi. And then the bathroom. And it has really cool tile in here. I had so much fun today. I hope you had fun kind of exploring Mexico City with me. I'm gonna go rinse off and take a quick nap. And then I will see you when I'm all ready. And we head downstairs to go home to LA. One flight today. All right, I'll see you when I'm ready. All right, to fly home. I got my little candles and I'm all packed. I hope I get to do more international coming up. That would be the best. I was super grateful to be here. I will see you on another episode of Keeping Up with Your Favorite Flight at Sunday. <laughs> I have to head downstairs now, but thanks so much for running around Mexico City with me. I hope you enjoyed it. If you ever get the chance to come here, you really should. There were so many places that I wanted to eat, but I'm talking too much. What's new? I will see you next time. Bye.